Hey everyone, Nate from Grower's House here and today we got a new product from a new company called Sustainable Micro Farms. So uh, this is actually developed in like a university environment by some students who wanted to build a dosing machine that doesn't cost thousands of dollars. So um, this is going to be a sub $1,000 dosing machine that can handle up to eight solutions including nutrients, your pH up and down, um, and water to help keep everything in check and it also measures your EC PPM TDS um, which is pretty awesome so this is really meant what I call it's like the dosing machine for the rest of us because it's really made for hydroponic systems that are between 5 and 55 gallon reservoir size so you can see here I mean uh, the system comes with these slots where you can put in your core size of nutrient and it has uh, the tubing to uh, end up pulling the nutrient and putting it in your reservoir to keep it all sustainable and in check. But um, you know, if you wanted to, I could easily put this in a gallon size jug or even larger, since one of the um, one of the things it can actually dose is water. Like let's say it doses too much pH, it'll dose water to over to uh, compensate for that. And I would probably just stick one of these in like a really big. Uh, almost like reservoir of water just so that it had it available to put in your reservoir so you can see here I put some of the probes in some water just to play around and um, I wanted to show you guys uh, just what you could do with this meter so let's let me grab that camera and show you how to program this thing because it was like super easy I learned how to program this thing in probably three minutes just by reading this and pressing a few buttons so let's jump into that Okay, so now let me uh, jump you through some of the configuration for this thing so you can see how, uh, what kind of features it has and how you set it up. So when you first start it, you get this main menu where you just use these buttons to toggle through it really. Um, like for right now, I don't have eight solutions hooked up. You need uh, the expansion pack to have all eight solutions. Right now I just have the four solutions that it comes with. And what you do is you set up a pump for each solution. Um, so with the first pump, I hit enter and it'll ask me, you know, do you want a custom program or do you want uh, their preset program, which the preset program works with the F general hydroponics flora grow, flora micro, flora bloom, and a pH up. So those would be the four solutions you put in. But let's say I want to use, you know, a different nutrient company. Let's say I want to use uh, heavy 16, veg A, and uh, veg B, and then pH up and prime. So I would select the first pump, um, which is pump one, under the custom, and the category. Off? No. I want, do I want water? No. Uh, I want a nutrient. Then I select, and then it'll ask me how many milliliters per gallon that nutrient is rated for. So let's say I'm in the vegetative phase and I want to go um, easy on the plants. I would scroll, I mean I can go anywhere from, I think it's from zero milliliters per gallon, which is nothing, to 20 milliliters per gallon, which will basically take care of, uh, that's the range for most nutrients. So let's say I want to start off at, you know, 3.5 milliliters per gallon, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. Save. Let's go scroll to pump two. Um, that one will also be the B version of the veg nutrient, so I'll select that. This one I also want at 3.5 mils per gallon. So let's change that really fast. I'll just hold down this for a second. Oop, 3.75. Nah, at least I'm not using this one right now. So let's see. Scroll. Let's say pump three. I want to select this one. And this pump I will use as my water. Okay. So that's going to be dosing water in order to keep the nutrient system in check just in case it for some reason gets too too high in parts per million of nutrient or too uh, high or low in pH so let's go to nutrient pump 4 select that one and for this one I want it to be my pH up so I select and it asks me what kind pH up or pH down I want pH up and now I'm done setting up all four pumps. 
So pump configuration is done. What's up next? Start cycle. I could seriously just um, hit enter right now and it would start pumping nutrients. The only thing we haven't set on this is our reservoir size. So before I hit start cycle, which would just send these nutrients all over the floor, um, let's scroll through some other things. Um, let's see, calibrate the probes. Um, you know, this system comes so that you can calibrate your probes, keep them in check. Um, it's pretty self explanatory. Let's see what else we can do. System configuration. Um, you'll want to jump into that. Like, let's say we want to set our reservoir size. So, let's say I have a 40 gallon reservoir. Let's hit enter. So, oh, it's set on 40. So, uh, or I could change them in increments of 5 gallons from 5 all the way up to 55 gallon. So, very easy to work that. Oh, 45 gallons, I'll select that. And I can scroll EC display units. Um, do you want parts per million? Uh, the micro semen EC. Well, you know, we're most uh, familiar with parts per million here, so let's do that. And you can set, yeah, your PPM factors here. So most people are running on um, a PPM factor of 0.5. Oh, I keep jumping around, but that's what I would set mine at. If you have any questions about that, definitely put them in the comments. And um, other than that, time between checks. Oh, this is a really cool feature I wanted to point out. So you can still use this system with an ebb and flow, even though your reservoir will, you know, on a periodic uh, time interval, be flooding into your system. So what this does is, let's say you flood your system for 15 minutes every three hours. Before this doses nutrients and pH, it'll actually check uh, at two different times and within those two times it'll determine when it checked if the reservoir was full or not because you don't want it taking a reading when your reservoir has emptied and is filling up your plants with water and your reservoir is really low and that could really skew off your pH and PPMs. So the time between checks, if I water my plants for 15 minutes every three hours, um, then what I would do is I would set this for every 15 minutes. So, because if I did it like every 10 minutes or so, then it could be checking at two times that are within the time that the reservoir is feeding the plants. So if I do it every 15 minutes, it'll check at one point when the reservoir is feeding and another point when the reservoir is full. So I'll select that. Let's see, um, temp display units, you know, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and you can do a factory reset, and that's it. So let's see what else we can do. Calibrate probes, purge pumps, just if you're changing out a solution, you purge those pumps. Take a reading. I mean, this, it automatically is pulling um, EC and pH every, every, and temperature every 15 seconds, and I can always, at any point, just hit take reading, and now it'll pull the information that we have in this water solution right here. You know, we're at 887 parts per million, the water's 75.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pH is 6.78. And now this system is made for hydroponics, and it's preset to keep your pH between 5.5 and 6.5, which is uh, a well-recognized standard by both, you know, commercial, university, and hobbyist uh, hydroponics growers for best nutrient uptake. And you can see it updating as we're sitting here. I haven't calibrated the pH meter, so it's also given me, hey, you should calibrate this guy. But um, let's go back to that main menu, and that's basically the whole unit. Um, you know, this unit is, they just did an Indiegogo campaign, raised all the funding that they needed, and they're coming to market here pretty soon. We're going to have it on our website probably in you know, a month or two, this guy will be ready to rock and roll um, and be shipped out. So if you want to check out more about this, um, visit us at growershouse.com or visit Sustainable Micro Farms. Other than that, this is Nate from Growers House. Have a good one.